Hello, this is Bob Leahy from Positive Light, and I'm speaking to Walter Ewing today, and we're at the Canadian AIDS Society's uh, forum for people living with HIV, and we're pleased to have Walter talking to us. Walter, you, uh, you, you come from where? I come from Aurelia, Ontario. Okay. And you, you, you were diagnosed with HIV in, in what year? Tell it, me about that. It was the late uh, 90s. Uh, when I serial converted, I was uh, very ill. Um, for several weeks. The diagnosis came early on. Treatment started very early on. And uh, I've progressed quite well. You're doing well. Yes. You told me you, lo you lost uh, a little bit of weight, which I was one of the, well, one of the side pounds. effects of, of having yeah. HIV. Yes, yeah. I lost 85 yeah. pounds very yeah. rapidly. Yeah. Now, we, one thing in, intrigued me yesterday, yeah, Walter. Well, so you talked about um, a new uh, interest in your life after all this time. Tell me about what you shared with us yesterday. Well, uh, one day I looked in the mirror and thought I looked like a runner. And I thought running would be a good thing. Now, what does a runner look like? <laughs> skinny. <laughs> <laughs> You're skinny. I, I've been skinny and I've never thought of running, but there you go. Well, my legs felt like it was time to run. Had you well. exercised before that? Uh, no, I hadn't for years. So this is uh, pretty radical. Yes, it is. So tell me what you did. Well, I uh, first I uh, got up enough energy to walk to my post box and then around the block and uh, gradually more and more uh, signed up for races with my grandchildren, 5 and 10K runs uh, initially because I had to start somewhere. And uh, now I'm doing uh, half marathons. Now, for us who don't do, do a bit of noise here, for those of us who don't run, tell us how, how long is a half a marathon. Half a marathon is a little over uh, 20 kilometers. That's a hell of a long time. I can't even walk that. <laughs> well, you have to build up to it. It takes several months to get Yes, so, so you're in training. Yes. And where do we go after that? Uh, I, I plan to run a marathon before I'm 70. And a marathon is? It's uh, 26 miles. This is pretty ambitious. So that, you've got a target. So um, you're, what's, what sort of training regime are you on now, I will say? M mine's very odd. Uh, nobody would agree with it. I uh, tend to pick the distance that I'm going to go. And I start out doing that distance and gradually get going faster. Okay. So what's your sort of time for a half marathon? Is it is it uh, is that an issue for you, or is it uh, just a question of finishing? How how competitive are you? I guess I'm, is my I, I'm only competitive against people my age. Okay. And uh, it's. Uh, and, and your age? Did we touch on that? Uh, yes, I'm 67. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm uh, in the middle of the pack as far as the time is right. concerned, but that's not a big issue. It's finishing right. that is important. This is good stuff. Now, also, uh, uh, best of wishes on, on that path. I think this is an amazing story. Um, I just want to touch on, we've just come out of a, a workshop on HIV and aging, um, uh, which is a kind of hot topic right now, as you've probably heard. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, what's your sort of perspective on, on, on getting older and living with um, treatment and, and living with the kind of uh, issues that we face anyway. Have you have you had uh, some thoughts about that? Well, mo mostly it's just following what we've heard all along: exercise, diet, uh, don't smoke. Uh, it's uh, now, of course, uh, people are promoting vitamin D as uh, a good thing to do. Uh, I, there's there's nothing new uh, c coming out on uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Yes, yes. And, and we'll also, um, tell me one more thing. Um, positive light, we'd like to, to delve into the, into the whole person. Tell me something about Walter that, that not many people know. Well, um, you know, we talked yesterday about the four aspects of, of an individual right. spirituality, right. the mental uh, aspects, emotional and physical, and uh, I have found that uh, running uh, has helped me to uh, get in contact with myself. Uh, I find it's almost like meditating when I run. Uh, I'm, uh, it may seem selfish, but I'm just thinking about myself and the run. That's interesting. I have the same attitude to volunteer work. I really volunteer because it helps me, and it sounds like that's something that's going on with you too, right? Yes, yes yeah, it good is. Sure. Yes. Walter, uh, thank you so much for talking to Positive Light.
and we wish you all the best and then some in your marathon career. This is quite amazing, and we hope to hear how you do when you when you run a marathon. Thank you, Walter. Thank you.